Welcome back to our old stream farm. As you can see, we have bought here two new fields, actually three, and combined them together. It's going to make for another really good yield. There's the plow marks there where we plowed them together. We're going to run probably soybeans back in the field. It's over here on the other side of town, over here on the other side of the farm. Still connected to our farm, I guess you could call it, because we got these fields. Some grass fields over there, our barley fields, and our soybean fields. It's coming together. It's going really great. So let's get into doing some seeding. All right, so first we got to fill this up some seed and fertilizer. I got to remember where I have the fertilizer. I think it's in the shed back there. I do have some seeds right over here. <laughs> A couple of bags anyway. We got some more bags out there. We'll come in here. Oops, back up just a touch. Pick this up. Take it over to the cedar. I can't remember how many liters the cedar holds. Cedar slash fertilizer. Because it comes with both. And I gotta make sure it's gonna open once I get over there to it. It does. Very nice. Now I just gotta back up and get in the right spot, apparently. Let's go, come on. And you can see we got here the 1590 tandem no-till drill. Hey, it's going right in there, very nice. No-till drill by John Deere. It's new to us, it's not very new, but new to us. We'll take it, should help. Should help with the uh, seeding process, a little bit bigger width, I think it's nine meter width. And like I said, we're going to seed over there in the two new fields or three fields two of them been plowed together i want to see the soybeans back over there like we said in the beginning oops run over the bag now this is acting weird oh uh, come on all right there there we go this bag has got something wrong with it but we're going to use it anyway <laughs> take it over here about filling it up hopefully it'll go in there whoa and I don't think it's going to work that way I have to drop it down hmm let's do a little bit of finagling with it I guess there we go stand it up if it'll stand up oh come on baby perfect now Drop down there and pick it up. Come on. We got all day. We got stuff to do. There we go. Something didn't look right about the bottom of that bag, though, so I'm not sure if it's going to go in there or not. I'm fixing to find out. Eh, that's going in there. Don't run over the cedar. Eh. There we go. Now, come over here. Pick these bad boys up. So pick it up from first person, actual first person. That'll work. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Having all day. Get in there. There goes one. That's nice. Was it full? Might be full. Let's go over here to the back one, fill it up. Yeah, now those soybean fields are sh going to plant it or give it plant us, <laughs> give us a pretty outstanding yield. I'm pretty sure because the first field that we had gave us a good yield of about 140 thousand bucks. Hello, are you gonna work? Hmm, what's going on here? Let's get out and check that quick. Well, it'll probably help if I had on the hood. Come over in here. Turn that on. There we go. Well, that's not enough at all. That's not going to work at all. Come on, open up. Seeds are full. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Woo, heavy. All right, let's set these down here. 
run in here and get some fertilizer quick. Drop that off. Let's go. That's lime over there. I need to come through here and clean all this mess up. But we don't have time for that just yet. We got work to do. This should be our fertilizer. Wow. Let's run all into it. Why don't you? Let's tear it up, people. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Get a little uh, under the gun here. Kind of start messing up. But let's fill this up, and then we'll get over to the field and go to work. All right, so that's pretty much filled. Well, we've got, you know, about 68% worth of soybean seeds in there. But it's going to be all right. Got all the fertilizer in there we need. Just going to cut across the road up here to the, our new fields. Now, need to see about unfolding this guy while we're riding down the road. And, yes, it does work that way. <laughs> Now this thing acts a little bit janky sometimes if you turn too sharp, but we're going to try not to turn too sharp. We're going to come right here in this corner. Oh, excuse me, car. And drop it down. There we go. Don't you blow your horn at me. Uh-oh. And the other side needs to be dropped down. That didn't do it. Come on, get in there. Drop down. There we go. Now we got both sides. See what I mean? This thing acts a little weird every now and then. But does does well for what we need to work with. Now let's jump in here. See if we can how long we can do six miles an hour. We don't want to hit the tree. Nope. Don't hit the tree. Like I said, this field's gonna just add to our literage of uh, harvest that we get off the field sorry I couldn't get what I, I wanted to say out there <laughs> like normal <laughs> no big deal it's all going to work out it's all going to come out in the wash but these should yield us good and give us a good crop off of here good cash that we could use he's got $980,000 but the chickens man I had a problem with them they wanted to keep growing by leaps and bounds and overcrowd the chicken pen so they were losing their worth and that wasn't going to work for me. I didn't get chickens so they'd just lose their worth because they were getting overcrowded. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't going to work. We had to fix that. We just turned off overcrowding, sold some chickens for what we could get out of it. And I think they're doing fine now. They are eating us out of the farm though, that is for sure. Eating us out of the farm. As a matter of fact, let's check on them real quick, like, come over here, animals. Oh, they're doing pretty good right now. 45,000 liters in that one. About 45, yeah, they're good. But by the end of the, that's because I filled them up this morning. By the end of the day, they shall be half empty at least and start dropping health when we don't want that. Uh, this is a little tricky part right here. It's on a hill. Come on, baby, come on. There we go. Get back up in there. Nice. Oop. Stay where you're supposed to be. Come on, come on. We don't have all day. Let's go. We got stuff to do. We got fields to plant. So we'll get these finished up. Get the other one finished up. Or started and finished up. And we'll jump on the big field. All right, that field didn't take very long at all. And you know what? <laughs> I put fertilizer all in this cedar and forgot that soybeans really don't need it <laughs> at all. <laughs> Way to go, rookie. So yeah, we're done with that field. We're gonna jump, catch this little spot here, and jump right over here, across the street, across a little road into the shop. Shouldn't hurt our, our cedar too bad. <laughs> We're going to run soybeans in this field as well. Like I said, should get us a huge, huge yield, hopefully, of money and crop. Because you got to have a lot of crop to have a lot of yield to get a lot of money. Am I right? <laughs> All right, on to the big field. Ooh, let's ease over the little bridge here that we put down. Because who wants to take the harvester across the bridge? 
over there. I don't think it would make it in the first place. <laughs> so a little bit too big for the bridge there. I do believe. All right. Unfold it. Maybe. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Ain't got all day. Up two, up two. <laughs> we got work, people. Turn it on. Drop it down. Drop it down. There we go. All right. Throw some soy in this field. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the big field that we harvested last time that said we got $140,000, 147000 Yeah, we got a good fair amount of cash off this field. It did quite well for us. I'm thinking about coming through next time around and knocking all these trees out. And just plowing right around the corner there. I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. I want to plant this first. <laughs> Get this little part that I missed. There we go. Come on, catch it. Let's go. Just come back around and get it if we need to. And I've also got a few ideas for some different money making plans. I know we're going to keep expanding. I know that much. We might, I don't know, we might throw down another chicken coop. I'm not sure. Might go into a little bit of hogs. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. There's so many possibilities make money and there's so many possibilities where you can absolutely totally fail we don't want to fail we want to keep making cash keep making animals and selling them keep making fruit and selling it we're selling our melons but we're uh, using the lettuce to feed the chickens so we want to keep doing all that good stuff and we want to keep seeding this field get this over with so we can jump ahead we still got a seed the barley field for our chickens jump ahead several months we'll have to harvest the grass and we'll have to uh do other things daily chores on the farm but we shall see you guys in a few months all right so we've made it to may but we're just not quite ready to do the harvest yet because well our fields aren't ready <laughs> but guys We've been feeding the chickens non-stop. Non-stop feeding chickens and we are out of barley. Uh-oh. I'm hoping we have some more in the silo here. Because if not, we're going to have to go buy some. And I don't know if... I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on more barley. Oh, please be some in here. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we do have barley. Maybe for one more couple feedings. But also I got something else to show you. Remember we were talking about more ways to making money? Well, I found us a way. Hopefully it's going to be good for us. Let me fill this up. Take this over there to the other chicken coop and feed those guys. And we'll go over there and show you what we've done. We'll probably see it when we drive by over here in just a second. This is where I'm going to cut through the field because they don't have crop destruction on. <laughs> I don't play with that very much. Let's come over here get this into the chicken coop quick maybe this thing's kind of weird to backing up into it's not the easiest and I didn't do it the right way boy let's go come on alright back it up easy 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 come on come on come on there we go. Like a glove. You gonna give me the trigger? Did not give me the trigger. Hmm. Oh, it's not on the trailer. That's why. No big deal. Alright. Let's shut that off. Hop out and run over here quick. Come on, come on. You can go faster than that. Well, as you can see, we've got a silo here. Run down through the bushes. We got us some open air gardens by Omatana. Hope that's going to make us a good little bit of cash. They put out a pretty good bit. So we've got the little water pumps in the back there. Because we don't want to be going to get water every day. 
nah, we ain't gonna do all that. But yeah, that's our little uh, new production. So let's hopefully get to harvest season and we'll be back. Well, there's more non-stop feeding chickens. It never ends. It never ends. Feeding the chickens, feeding the chickens, feeding the chickens. But it's gonna be all right because we did have to buy some barley, but we got this vegetable garden here making lettuce for us and red lettuce and melons that we can sell. And the corn's doing fabulous down there. And I think, as a matter of fact, I know it's full. I have to go get, have to go load those up somehow. Might feed them to the chickens too. Because it's going to keep producing. Oops, oops, oops. It's going to keep producing. Everything's going to be a okay. Just got to get the harvest season, then we'll have enough barley for our chickens. I hope, hopefully, we should. Come on, come on. Is the chickens full? Nope, there they go. Oh, nothing but feeding chickens. Finally, it is harvest day. We made it to July. We made it to harvest. Grass is ready to go. Uh, soybeans and barley all ready to go. Nice. So let's just come over here cut into this field quick get a move on back out of the road while I unfold this don't want to get run over by any cars fold that nice check for traffic okay let's go drop that guy down run it up through here now guys I'll tell you what we made some money hold on let's enable real speed did make some money last month. As a matter of fact, let's check the financials quick. Well, I went too far. <laughs> let's see. We made two hundred thirty-six thousand two hundred fifty-one thousand bucks last month. Not too bad. And we made one hundred thirty already this month by selling some chickens. But things are working out. Maybe not like I planned them, but we're still almost millionaires for the second time so everything is working out quite nice did I get all that now I did okay yeah we're doing well corn sold well made all our pallets got them all picked up sold them off everything worked out great so now we're just gonna harvest all this up sell it off Ooh, that's fast see how much cash we come up with this time I'm excited about this playthrough it's working out like I wanted it to it's kind of worried at the beginning of it but everything's worked out quite nice so far hadn't had to take any kind of loans or anything like that and now that I think about it we might double down and we already double down on chickens we might double down on the corn gardens corn gardens, corn vegetable gardens, corn greenhouses, you know what I mean. <laughs> we did have to spend a little bit of money on buying some seed and buying some fertilizer. That costs us a little bit, but I think we're all going to make it back with this harvest and grass harvest. So we'll get this done and we'll come back, I think, and talk about what we have made oh come on let's find a way to turn around here yeah we might double down on more of corn might go get it might find a spot to put a large large corn garden because those things make big time money but we'll also spend oh don't damage your header we'll also spend more money on getting everything we need for that because we don't have seeds, we have to buy those. We don't have fertilizer. Well, we do have some leftover of seeds and fertilizer in our silo, but it wouldn't be enough to even dent a big uh, vegetable garden that we need. Anyway, we'll get this done. All right, finally, the last pass. We are almost done with harvest here. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> a little bit long, but 
not that bad, but ridiculous enough to annoy me. <laughs> Let's go dump this off into the trailer. We'll take it over to the sale everything and sell it off. See how much we make. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that was easy. Just leave this right here. Uh-oh, got to shut it off. All right. Get over here. Come on. Take it over to the old sale everything over here at the store. See how much we make off of it. Hopefully it's going to make a nice little penny, as they would say. <laughs> I don't know who they are. But they know who they are. <laughs> Let's drive, drive over here. Come on, come on, come on. We'll probably not harvest the barley because you've seen that. We'll not harvest the grass. We'll just sell this off as soon as we get over there. Hopefully, like I said, it's going to make us a good amount. And we're going to find us a spot to put some more corn open air gardens because that made a pretty good bit of money. And if you go bigger, it'll make even more money. So, probably going to do that. And the next videos, let's dump this. All right. Hoping for big money. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. $539,000. Well, more than that. 67150 score, environmental score. So... If you like that video, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you like. Come back in the next one. And we'll see you then. Take it easy.